What's up creatives, this is Tom. So I have discovered my, pretty much my favorite Instagram account um, in the last few days. You absolutely need to check him out. His name is Jordi Coalitic. I'm probably completely butchering that name, but I will link um, his Instagram down below in the comments. Now he's got some really interesting concepts on his Instagram. Most of them center around sort of household photography or household items, and then sort of transforming those into really interesting interesting photography concepts. So I thought what would be interesting is to try and sort of recreate some of his photos in this video, just because I think it's a really good learning experience. I'm also gonna throw in some of my own ideas as well. So hopefully by the end of this video, we'll be seeing stuff like this, like this, and like this. And then I say hopefully because I've obviously filmed this intro in advance, so who knows what they're gonna turn out like. But without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with the first of the three photos that we're uh, shooting today. So um, most of the B-roll is just pretty static. I just have my camera set up on a tripod here. But the first one I tried is actually like slinky photography. So you basically take the photo through a slinky, pull it out to its full extent, and you get this kind of really interesting sort of parallaxy effect. Um, I think in retrospect, I probably would have shot this a little bit less wide open, kind of at an uh, f4, f5, rather than down at f2.8. But it did end up looking pretty cool, and I especially like these shots, uh, the way we got gate crashed by the little dog. So you kind of had the slinky effect along with the little dog checking it out as well. Quite a nice little shot to start off with. Then we come to my favorite, which is actually uh, sort of water bottle photography. So I actually took just a standard water bottle and I cut the end off both ends. And basically I just used that as a sort of uh, almost like a lens hood and you just kind of get this really cool warping effect and I just have my friend sort of pour water over his hand to sort of bring a bit of uh, dynamism to the shot instead of just having the hand out super shallow depth of field but focused on the water point uh, you have to just take this over and over until you get a nice sort of water ripple effect but when you do pull it off, it does look really great. Water is such an interesting photography subject. If you can shoot using some water, it really is just a fun photography exercise to do. And then finally, we have this sort of strange plastic parallaxy effect. Now, I think this is the one I'm least keen on throughout this shoot, but it did make for an interesting effect. I sort of found this like hatchy plastic, almost like some sort of like recycling wrap. Basically, what I did is just, again, just sort of wrapped it around the camera like it was a lens hood. And I basically just used that to sort of help as a, almost like a leading line into the photo, having the subject in the center of the frame and that at the end. And again, it just gives an interesting visual effect whereas this normally just would have been a static portrait with a soft depth of field, you actually have just something additional to add interest to the frame. Again, not something you're gonna to want to do all the time, but just an interesting effect all the same. There we go, guys. That is the video on this one. Hopefully you did find it entertaining, interesting. Personally, I just love the way that these sort of everyday items can be really transformed into amazing photography props. Definitely check out Geordie's Instagram. I will link that down below in the description and I'll catch you in the next one.